Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to Face It TV. I'm DK. This is Thorette. Hello. Nice. Nice shirt. Thanks. The shirt looks awfully similar to mine. Yeah, I guess. It's, it's pretty nice. Alright guys, we're here to cast some Counter-Strike. We just come back from Kiev. Um, we flew in and we came here, <laughs> basically, <laughs> straight away. So uh, we're ready to rock and roll. And we've got uh, two best of ones here today. So let's check out uh, and see the standings first of all, see how things have been going. Of course, we've been away for a few days. And let's just remind ourselves. So here we have, uh, of course, the funniest thing about this is, uh, first of all, you know, NIP down at the bottom, they, have, they did choose to uh, play train in every single match that they possibly could um, as their home map so that's that's been pretty interesting well I don't think yeah they won they, they won they, they beat Virtus on yeah. train yeah, we cast so. that uh, not so long ago um, but yeah we, I can see of course you know Flipside Tactics you managed to go top four as uh, in t into the uh, yeah. into Star Series uh, land finals not doing super well either Navi as well having a bit of trouble to start with but it's still it's still pretty early I mean yeah that's kind of surprising though Coming second at Dreamhack, now winning Star Ladder in Kiev just yesterday, having one, two, about, yeah, it's only three games in. So. So what? So there's a lot of games left. That's, what, that's what I thought, but I had to be sure. Okay, so guys, <laughs> I, think, uh, I think it's quite interesting. We, you know, we just had Kiev, right? So we had uh, some interesting results there. Um, G Play, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, results from them. We had also uh, Navi actually managing to win. Um, I, I'm, what do you think about Navi at the moment? Are, are they just getting better and better and better? Because they, they of course, made it to the, the finals of the DreamHack Summer Tournament and lost against Fnatic, but were able to take it against Envious in uh, in a pretty crazy best of five uh, yesterday. Yesterday. I think it's just a question about consistency. Yeah. Ever since it uh, <coughs> picked up uh, Flamey, it seems that they're they're more often on their higher mm. level when they're playing. All right, well, we can always talk about Navi later on. Let's uh, see the schedule quickly and see what we have coming up for you here today. I believe we've got, we've got two best of ones, and there's an hour gap between the two, uh, as you can see. Uh, or two hour gap, sorry. Um, Envious and NIP are going to be playing first up on cash. So we got to see a lot of Envious over the weekend due to the fact that they were at land. And uh, I think they had a really early flight, actually. I think they had like a 6 a.m. flight or 7 a.m. flight. So Yeah, they might be a bit tired today a little bit or maybe mm. they just slept during the day yeah yeah so cash any expectations on on cash i would uh, favor envious it's probably one of their stronger maps together with dust uh, dust 2 so i don't know it's still a very close game i would favor envious maybe 60 40 on this map yeah i, I think I'm, I'm with you there as well and uh, looks like the public are close-ish to that. I mean, for me, Envious, they're, like you're saying, it's kind of been their consistent a map out of, the, out of the, all the changes they've made to their to their play. And apparently Happy is going, going back to in-game leading as well, so they're deciding to switch things up. And we're going to have the knife round take place here now and to decide who will start where. But yeah, I, f I feel like Envious, you know, their T-sides are going to be something that NIP might struggle with. But again, we'll have to see if uh, if Envious can get their aggression going on this in this matchup. So it's like NIP will be able to start on the CT side. What is in Forest's name? No, what is Nocco? Nocco. Two stars, Nocco. Must be a new sponsor, I guess. Nocco. Interesting. Interesting. Anyways, so. Let's okay, so they want a five minute pause. Why? Why, why Bian? <laughs> why do they do this to us, Bian? Yeah, after the knife round as well. Mm. There might be something that's what's going on. Maybe they just need to pick up an important package or something. <laughs> what kind of a package? A special delivery package waiting at the door. Okay. With something very special inside it. <laughs> okay. That sounds great. Let's, yeah. let's, let's move on. I, 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 the the reason why I'm reminded of this is, I think it was flip side. It was one team when we practiced against them, and they always paused versus us because they were always going to pick up a package. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that serious? became like a thing for ah. us. Like every time someone's, oh, yeah, I just have to pick up a package. We were thinking it takes like five, ten minutes to pick up the, 
a package, so we can't be at the door because then we're doing. So it's like a so free 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 drop on the street or something. I don't know. It's like a car wheel rolls up, puts the the briefcase down, drives off again in the street. Maybe. Full of maybe pins from Calavitch or something. CSK pins. Yeah. Those are awesome though. They're worth quite a lot of money. Yeah, that's... People make a lot of money from those. Yeah, you can almost go to an, uh, a major and just buy those. And just and make money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to go and make money now, guys. But yeah. Too bad we said this to everyone on the stream. With our yeah. secret plan. Well, I think I think they 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 know. Yeah, that's true. I think they know. Anyway, um, as far as far as uh, things go for NIP, because I want to talk about them a little bit, actually. Uh, NIP, do you think that they're going to start slumping a little bit? Do you think they're g entering into a slump? Because we we have quite a few teams that are doing better and better. So it may not be the fact that they're necessarily slumping, but the fact that their level is staying you know, somewhat at the same place, whilst everyone else is get, uh, everyone else is getting a little bit better. We did see them at Dreamac uh, uh, summer, yeah. uh, one week ago. However, they went out in the semi-final versus Fnatic, and Fnatic was on fire yeah, that yeah. event. So not, not much you can see from that particular game. And uh, I mean, the online result is obviously not good. I mean, they're down zero and five in this league. So looking actually like one and four, one and four, yeah, I think. because Should the, be the Virtus game yeah. was wrong. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, but still, it's but still, yeah. yeah, it's looking really bad for them. They might actually not even qualify for the face it finals. So. I don't know. I mean, they've been really inconsistent online. On <coughs> on land, they have been playing okay. They usually make it to the playoffs. It was one tournament they didn't make it to the playoffs recently. Do you remember which one? Uh, I can't remember. There's been a f there's yeah. been actually more than one. Actually, oh. uh, I'm not sure. There's, there's been a few though. I mean, they've had, of course, they've always had consistency issues online. I mean, but generally speaking, this is the weird thing with NIP is that they know how to play LAN. They know how to just somehow ma make the results yeah. happen. Even though they always look shaky, they just bring it, they bring it to the table when they're actually aligned, which is the best quality to have still. Still though, you know, where do you think uh, the, issu the major issues for them would be? Because I think, think uh, you know, a lot of people, well, I think, uh, was it Lerpis? Someone suggested, I think if Threat coached NIP, they would be the best ever. Oh yeah, that would be the best choice. No, no, I don't really think so. To be honest, it's, it's more of a communication thing since they brought in Aldo. Aldo is an awesome player, obviously. Yeah. But having four Swedes and one Finn, it seems kind of awkward. If you listen to their uh, team speak during Katowice, they yeah. actually like had a mixture between Swedish and English, which seemed <laughs> kind of odd. And I mean, I don't know. They're playing the same style they've always done, and uh, CSGO has evolved so much, both in the meta and strategically, and it, it just doesn't work anymore. They just need better team play better execution and work on all of the, all of that so yeah. yeah nice well so what would be the first thing if you went if you if you if you were going to coach then just like play the hypothetical out a little bit if you, if you uh sign a contract like and they gave you 10 briefcase briefcases full of lots of money like here you go fred make our team awesome where would you where would you start <laughs> I don't know really. I would maybe ask them what's going on. Maybe just watch the practice games and just go from there. That was the lamest answer ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we're into pistol round now. Envious and NIP here for the Face It League, and we're gonna get a split from Envious onto the A bomb site. And this is actually quite awesome. I mean, of course, Envious they're gonna be up against the simple A retake from NIP. So pretty easy going right now for them as they will get the bomb down, and uh, they're trying to push the car position a little bit, and NIP, they're going for that retake. So far, it's looking pretty good here for NIP. Envious. They got the good positioning despite being down a man, but in comes the majority of the NIP players, just up onto the trades now, as we have three on three. Fukushima went the forklift. Good, you know, good angles here coming in from Envious, as NIP that struggling to get into the bomb site, and time is really ticking away, and we just have a, just a yellow defuse coming in, and it's going to be the round for Envious. That must have been really close uh, for Exister on the, the bomb. Couldn't be more than a second left on his defuse. I think that was like the, the existence style chocker smoke on it. I don't know if they had the set smoke or if he just threw it from like a straight shot, and then just go for the defuse. But, that, but, but the thing is, they, they spread out too much, and... Yeah, that's a very common thing to do now on the C2 pistols. You buy a smoke and a kit, and you might even have an extra smoke on another guy, so you have an easy time on the retakes just to go for that fast defuse. And going to be a force buy here for, from NIP. Just spreading out, going for two people on mid. Looks like they're opting to play two people on B as well, so 
just gonna leave that A site pretty much open. Yeah, and we have the uh, not full force up, it's just some pistols there, so they want to keep the money going. Playing more of an economic game. And this is good. This is good. They're gonna, it's gonna mean that they're gonna be able to pull out the orbs or anything they want on the, uh, the fourth round. Have all those nades they, they want to play with. And so far, a good approach here from Envious as well. They have managed to take down the A bomb side, get the bomb down as well. And there's not much that NIP can really do from this position. They're trying to get some exits and trying to cut off some of the, the escape routes for these players, but so far all they've got is one frag. So I was wrong, they didn't actually go for the force buy. They don't have any cavalry, so it's a half force buy here for NIP. And if they get another pick here, it's a decent round for them. Okay, let's see. First do it. Perhaps there. All the end punches making problems here, but he will actually tag down Kiyoshima. Will it matter though? We do have uh, Get Right saving a MAC-10, which is actually going to help him out massively into the next round. May not seem like much, but that, that put in the right place could be pretty decisive. Oh, he's going to get a frag. That's actually going to aff afford him Kevlar if he wants it. He might as well go for some... Uh, some or can definitely consider to get some extra investment there. Yeah, and two kills there is okay. If they get two or three kills once again, they have a good pressure on the invest economy, so... Looks like they're just going to spread out, just ignore middle. Put three people on B. And I like this. Just smoking a smoke towards A. Just trying to force the terrorists to go to B. Going into the stack. But I don't think any of us is going to buy this. Yeah. It's going to be a uh, quick frag there for NIP from Freiburg. As they go for the B stack. And now they're starting to fan out back in towards the middle and A areas. Our NIP looking for a more solid defense. They've got a player pushed. Or a couple players pushed in B storage. So they know what's going on. Forrest claiming the AK-47. And they know, they know it's going to be A, so actually NIP, they are going to have some time here to actually get their bodies onto the bomb site for the defense slash retake. In comes Kiyoshima there, entry on forklift, looking for that double, finds exist as well. And there it is, Envious with three quick kills, and that is going to be the bomb site. Well and truly under control here for the French side. And uh, Forrest is kind of going to be coming in from the car, just trying to see if he can get some long range shots here. But he is surely going to go down soon enough. They, is it worth chasing him down here? I would actually go for the exit kills here. Yeah, Force is going to do that. Or is he? Would it be surprised if he run runs to the left here just to get a kill? Yeah. Go but that's a nice try though. You're they will be able to buy. One, that extra kill would have meant a lot for NIP, so that was a good try though from Force. Yeah, so 3 0. And now we get to buy from NIP. Of course, they were able to save quite a bit of money here and there. So we even see an incendiary on Ali, but there's no AWP in play. And still two MAC-10s out for Envious. Yeah, full set of nades, so the bomb going towards A. They might actually go for a fast A execute, the non-telegraphed one where it just push from A main. Yeah, something that Envious are really good at abusing, and something that they... Might, they might be the, uh, the only team that uses that kind of play as much as they do. They tend to throw it in a lot, and I think they've so far been respecting NIP a bit, playing slower rounds. But here we go, we get the execute from behind the smoke, it's running in as they throw the nades. It can usually be very effective, but Garrett's up on top of these boxes, and he's going to be able to spray down two players already. Exist is going to help out with a double of his own. And now NIP, they've only got one man left to kill, so really excellent defense from them. And no entries. That's a nice shot, but it is a small constellation. Yeah, and Envious, they're getting flashed right when they were going to kill Geth right there on top of the box. Perfect time flash there, probably from middle from NIP. And NIP winning that first weapon round flawlessly, or losing one player there. So, great first weapon round there from NIP. Yeah, we'll have to see uh, how this actually develops now, because there's still another buy-in from Envious, and this time they have full AKs to, uh, to their disposal. And we get the opening grenades of that from NIP, so not much out of the ordinary. 2-1-2 two, two setup, more or less, with uh, no orb present for NIP just yet. And it does look like Envious are setting up just for the split and pick at the moment. Yeah, the bomb is down in the middle, so Envious not committing to a site yet. Just gonna see if they can get an easy pick here on A, as we have one guy left side of A main. It's probably gonna be Shocks. He usually plays that position, yes, it's, it's Shocks there. And, uh, yeah, very passive play here from Envious. Usually they, they play very aggressive going for those early picks. Here we go. 
We're going to have them slowly moving towards uh, a bomb site now. We've got all two entries found by Shox and MBK. Oh, MBK gets another one towards middle as well, and that's going to put a lot of pressure on NIP as we see a rotation happening. But it's more about survival at this point. They know that likely this round is completely lost at this point, but Forrest is going to try to help out as best he can. But he's now alone, and Envious. Pretty nice round here to take against NIP. They're going to actually destroy their economy. They're going to get completely owned on the money. We do have a few, well, a couple of places you can actually buy, but 1900 on Get Right and uh, 2300 on Freiburg will hurt them. And I don't know how NBK got that first kill, but it felt like NIP was just pushing when it, they didn't have the patience to wait for and thus push it, push there. They just pushed two people, lost the two entry kills, and the round was over after that. Yeah, it would be really, really hard to see how NIP would handle a spot where, like, we see s maybe seven, eight, nine rounds on the T side for Envious. And it feels like we could be going there. We'll have to see how things transpire after the next buy round from NIP. But if uh, Envious get rolling, it could be dangerous indeed. And we have uh, an A split being uh, worked on already. So fake as the uh, bomb can move towards Vents in towards B if they, if they, choose, if they choose that path. They, of course, have a look at in B storage still to make that happen. And Happy's going to take a pick towards A. So pressure on the A site is going to force the players to start moving towards that location as they've also lost mid. So they have no idea what's going on at the moment. Happy's job is just to try to get some damage done as he spots the majority of the players. The stack has been located, but the bomb will go down here for Envious on the B bomb site. A very open plant here from MBK. This will be impossible for NMP to retake. Yeah, Kiyoshima throwing in a nice frag there towards middle. And yeah. We have the uh, AK picked up by Alu, so he might be con even considering saving that, to be honest. I mean, well, there goes the Flash. He's going to try to make it happen here, but the positioning, as you mentioned, is so good with that bomb plant that you're looking for the damage. It's not going to have all that much fun here. You get a team kill as uh, Smith takes down MBK, but Ali will get out of there, I think, with the, with the AK still in hand. Yeah, a lot of economic da damage killing four players and uh, even saving that AK, so decent eco from NIP would have might try to go for the win there, but not much they can do. That that open plant is so hard to deal with. Yeah, and it's going to be a, a lot of money building on Envious right now, so... And I had they work cut out for them, but we'll see a double op. Double op set up. Probably going to have one guy peeking the boost, one guy peeking the storage. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's going to be an yes, interesting thing to see if they can get this working. Now, Envious, they might not realize what's actually happening with the double loss, but it looks like they're going to be setting up for a, a fast A execute. This is pretty much the perfect way that they could try to approach a round like this with the strength for NIP using these picks. All Forest is going to be spotted there, taking down shocks towards B. So Envious now don't have any eyes towards B storage, and uh, Forest is actually rotating out of B and moving towards the truck on the A site now, and Alu's going to pick up one as well. This is looking fantastic right now for NIP. Alu takes down a third player. This is a beastly round from Alu on the A-bomb site, and it will be the end. So Envious couldn't get it rolling at all. A funny thing about this game is almost all the weapons round, all the weapon rounds has been won flawlessly by either of the teams. And uh, Envious did decide to go for that untelegraphed A play, but just walking into that AWP won't work. They after they saw him, they should have just thrown one smoke before they pushed. Yeah, it did look very... Well, suboptimal. Let's put it that way. So, now 5-2 to two is the scoreline. Envious are looking at seeing what they can get done again across the map. We've got the bomb actually on the back of Kiyoshima. I'm not sure if he's going to be actually just going for a committed play here. You would expect that he would just drop this if they want to try to make a peek. A pick, rather. But they're going to go for the double angle here, trying to deal with any aggressiveness from an NIP. Bomb is towards speed. As you said, probably going to be a fake here. Yeah, trying to fake, fake them into uh, rotating. Now, is it going to work so far? Freiburg is still on the angle. He started to move. It just gets caught. Spots the players. Now we'll spot the bomb as well. And that's going to be a great entry from MBK. Once again, this guy has been proving on point with that new role in Envious that he has. And Envious just need the bomb to go down. Good Molotov, good smokes. Actually, that said, the Molotov has not pushed Alu back. He's still standing there, and this could be really problematic. Good flashbang. It's going to make his life a little bit more difficult to find the shots, and the bomb will be planted. And not the best spot, though. Happy lurking towards middle. And we are going to see a pretty interesting retake coming in here. We've got two orbs. Well, maybe just one orb now, as MIP players are getting mauled left and right. And this is the last man standing, and that was a pretty sick round here from Envious. 
Yeah, once again, around one almost flawlessly. Uh, X is getting two kills here. Probably gonna go down to Happy. That's flanks him here from Connector. And I must question Freiburg's position there on B. Usually you see that position when you know they're really low on money and you can just abuse the long range with the pistols. But going for that angle, sure, sure he was just about to move towards the side, so he was in a bit open angle compared to the one he had in the beginning, but still, when you're playing a team like Envyos, they can easily just walk out from Toxic and just kill you in that position. Yeah, that's exactly what they did as well. 6-2 to two is the score now as Envyos are looking pretty strong and the money game is starting to get better and better for them. And uh, we're going to have a presence in middle here from MIP very close and MBK is going to entry into Exist. This is very nice again here from MBK. He's going to finally go down. And actually, it, it, he had the bomb there as well. And he's going to be dropping that and giving it to MIP. This is a disaster right now. Complete catastrophe as MIP are really recovering at the moment. Shox is left with one HP and he's going to get eliminated. So 6-3 to three now the score. Envas should be able to buy. Yeah, they're going to force buy. Q with 1,400 shouldn't matter matter that much. S are they actually gonna eco? This is so unlike Envyos. Well, you know they've they've <laughs> they've uh, they had a pretty shocking uh, weekend regarding that subject. They lost to Dusty on to, uh, to G play. It was the perfect game to show them, you know, the error of their ways. It depends, I guess, on uh, how much they could potentially punish the econom economic position of NIP. But I like the approach where you're confident in your buy rounds. That's always good. Yeah, and uh, looks like it's just going to be a simple A split here from Envyos. But we have the push coming in from the back. NIP, two players there moving in, and they will find Happy over by the boost, so it's starting to fall apart right now. It's just afraid that the seams is now Envyos' A play, as NIP just walking from all angles. Really nicely done by them, and that is going to make things a little bit easier here. Six to four, but there's still a buy possible here from Envious. I would be surprised if they didn't go for it. Yeah, they did, it did a half by the last round, so two players on Envious only with three, $3,300 going for only tech nine. So I would have liked to see them either go for the full eco, maybe with, with some P P250s, to or go for the full buy last round, not for something in between. Yeah, it's going to be... Now the uh, simple standard setup here from NIP, just as usual. The uh, one, two, one, two at the moment. Early into the round. As they're only playing with rifles. In case fast in through forklift though, he's gonna find a player over by Toxic and we're gonna get Trace coming in from Get Right. And again, NIP got a lot of uh, a lot of fast play possible with those rifles and they're making it happen here, but MVS will take the bomb side. We get the bomb getting planted here behind the fire. Oh, that's actually going to be excellent there from Gary. We'll delay the plant. That's very, very nicely done by him as they also have a man advantage. So, Shox needs to come out with some excellent shots here. There it is. Oh, barely just able to take down Exist in time. In comes Freiburg and Forrest. Shox has to do everything by himself as he finds both players. They're going for the defuse. They're just wrapping around the side. And there it is. Freiburg will take down the frag. And it's going to be another round for an MIP. So, we've been stringing them together now. And MV but Envy is to get the bomb down. Yeah, I love that Getra just rushes there and kill, and kills the planter. It's good to abuse the fact that you cannot. It's very hard to hear the footsteps when there's a Molotov nearby, due to the sound of the flames. Yeah, it's going to be uh, now the P90 on Kiyoshima. What do you, what do you, what do you <laughs> make of this? <laughs> and three Tech Nine. Yeah, what, what do you make of this? I have no idea. And they have three players with two K left, I think. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> Very strange stuff. I mean, they they need to get the bomb down here. That is the plan. Huge pressure around coming in from NIP, uh, from Enervia, sorry. NIP is going for the defense here. Spray down coming in from Freiburg. Looking good initially, but it's going to be Envious who will burst through onto the bomb site. However, there is still a player who is sitting on that bomb site. It is Alu. He's got himself the AWP now. They move their way close. It could be painful, but there it is. Tapping coming in from Happy right at the end to drop Alu, but he's alone against Get Right. Luck against Luck with over a minute to play with. Now Happy. Let's get right now where he is. That silencer could be very, very key in a spot like this, where reactions are everything. The problem for Getrat is that he, yeah, he thinks that he could have the bomb, which means he, he can go to A. So a very t tough spot for Getrat, and very well played from Happy. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's one of those spots where if I just wait, there's like the, the least amount of things possible to go wrong for me, and there's the most ways that I can kind of just outplay my opponent safely. 
So that's pretty pretty cool. Looks like it's worked. He's gonna get the bomb down towards B. B. So how do you what do you make of Gero's position, his his chances? And Happy decides to go for the hidden plant, so this might actually work for Get right because Happy has to fight for the site now. Alright, well in comes Get right. Looking for those uh there's angles. Where is Happy? He wonders. Is Happy is at the back of the bomb site? He's gonna find him. And oh wow, that's such a fast frag there from Get Right. He's gonna pick up the AWP as well, so he'll save the round for NIP. Very well done, actually. That's a very important clutch. Um, although the boy should be in here for this, I think, regardless. Yeah, nice try there from Happy, almost clutching that one v three. And it's al always very smart if you have the opportunity to wait in a one v one, just to do it because with time. The you can you can move further away on the map, and your opponent can can't obviously know that. So, just forces your opponent to think about more options. Now we're gonna have the uh, pre nades coming in from Envious as well, and as we get sprayed out from Smith towards Sandbag. So Envious with a big push on middle, much faster than previous rounds, and so far it's working a treat as Envious are five against three. Players being very low indeed, and Kiyoshima is going to find himself an entry onto Freiburg as well. So the B bomb site is completely open. Now there's two players left here for NIP. What do they do? I mean, they don't know 100% where the bomb is going. It, it can it has a freedom to go anywhere, and as long as they move with numbers, there is indeed not much that can be done. Just get ready to left over. We'll get the frag onto Shocks, but how long can he survive? Not very long. And uh, just a simple straight out mid YOLO play from MVS, just rushing out the boost. NIP had one player sandbags and they boosted one player in vent, so should have gotten at least two or three kills there, but didn't even get a single one. After that round is. It is over because NVS has mid, they have two enter kills, they can go to either side. There's nothing NIP can do. Yeah, um, NIP definitely in a very, very tricky spot. Envious could absolutely claim those nine rounds we were talking about, and they just could go for these entries now into the bomb sites, just moving together, just keeping it simple. And uh, well, they should win the round here. There's not, I mean, <laughs> CZ and Ali, uh, CZ on the uh, Exodus and Ali with a P250. So, yep, once again, another spot where they can't really do all that much. Yeah, it's nothing they can do, and could go to nine rounds here for Envious. They're going to go to a lead at least. At half time, so not looking good for NIP. Indeed, eight to six. NIP going with a buy for the last round, and they've got uh, scrapped together quite a few rifles, but they're lacking on grenades. What do you want them to do in this round? Do, do you want them to get like aggressive here? Yeah, they should do a one three one where you p play three people in mid. They have one smoke on get right, so they can go close to middle and just ro rotate through the vents if they go B, and you can go for a flank boost if they go A. And it's exactly that that they're doing. Two people going aggressive mid, one staying at white box. So this is a great play from NIP. They should be able to win this now. Nice first kill there from Freiburg. Ali kind of chiming as well, dropping down from the vent. Sprays coming in and Forrest with the luck. Just pulling himself some kills from the back. And it's going to be 8-7 to seven there. Envious will win the, the first half. But... They could have got more, I think. Yeah, it's surprising th that they didn't go for that type of style more. As you saw, if they go B, you just run through the vents straight away. Freiber just tries to buy time on that B site, and you usually win the rounds where terrorists just try to force themselves up to B. If they go mid, you're obviously three people there. And if they go A, you can just counter boost and flank through A main. So there's a lot of good options if you go for the 1-3-1 three, one, three, one play SCT. All right, so let's see what uh, pistol opening Envious go for. Um, we saw NYP were very vanilla with their CT pistol. They just went for the, s the standard they retake play, which is uh, actually is started to fall out of fashion because it's, so it's so common. And here we go. Yeah, Envious is going to go for a straight up B plush. Uh, sorry, NIP that is. And Envious are going to be able to actually hold this pretty well so far. We're happy by the Envious box, which is now being dubbed by by Vendetta, and rightly so. Which is Freiburg is left over. He's going to get caught by Smith in the back though, and it's going to be nine to seven. Envious taking the CT pistol. Yeah, MBK getting two very important first kills. There's a very hard to get kill Glocks in that angle. Managing to get two kills NIP, knowing that Happy usually played that spot in checkers. Molotov having that position, but it didn't matter because they just lost too many players. Yeah, they they, uh, they actually have to actually Molotov that every single round, basically, if they want to push anywhere near that, that position. Because that's, you know, how Envious have conditioned them. 
Everyone knows that Happy does that now. Everybody knows. And not just Happy, Smith as well likes to do this. And uh, other players too. And we're going to see the uh, SMGs put to work here by the A-bomb site. So just some nice money made. And it always feels really good when you get those SMG kills. It's going to get some mag from Smith to finish it off in the end. And a disastrous round there for Freiburg going, or sorry, not Freiburg, NIP going for a f full force buy with Tech 9 armor, getting only one kill. Usually, as T on cash, when you go for that force buy, you're actually looking to win the round since the Tech 9s can be very strong if you push your way up the sights uh, on cash. And NIP will be forced to have full eco now. And any of us will obviously keep going with the mag with those MP9s and we'll be able to build up a even bigger bank. Yeah, we got the uh, play towards A at the moment from NIP. And I wonder if uh, what kind of move they're going to go for here because got Smith's gonna, he's going to get flashed in to get the peek into this A area. And he's not going to spot anything just yet, but if he keeps going, he might just get some action soon enough. And it's going to be happy. He's going to find some action with that SMG pushing in. They just envious just want to come to get to, uh, come to them, and they're very good at doing stuff like that. Now we have Smiths moving in, trying to coordinate with Shocks, and then they both go at the same time. It's going to take down one, and it, it, oh, the second one as well. Thanks to Happy, this is uh, pretty much just a disaster for NIP. You're getting one kill over two rounds here. One which were a full force by. Invest. Yeah, just look at their economy now. Invest. It or sorry, sucks. Yeah. NIP has to win three rounds in a row, almost, to break their bank in this position. Well, let's see if they can kick things off here. They've got uh, the AWP on Alu, so will we see a timing pick from him? Uh, where is he going? He, yeah, he's, okay, he's just going for the defensive shot onto uh, any A main pushes from the CTs. MBS do show aggression sometimes, but uh, in this round that's not going to be the case. So unfortunately for Ali, he's not going to get much done with that AWP in the early stages. And they are playing the picking style, it would seem. Yeah, getting that entry kill. The bomb is still down there in mid main, so it looks like NMP is just going for a default type style of play here. Just going to go for the picks. And uh, yeah, I'm not committing to a site yet here in this round. One minute left. A delayed mid take coming in. Do they have a Molotov for the vents, though? That would be really nice if they did. Um, okay, well, they can just shoot MBK out of there as well. That works, too. But uh, will they have ability to actually push the issue here? MBK's the only guy there. This could be really dangerous right now for Envious if they don't hightail it back there, which they are. They've got three players sprinting the length of that uh, massive uh, corridor from A to B, and it's going to be now smokes in a very tiny fashion from Envious. So they look okay, but Forrest is going to go in and... Oh no, MBK not looking the right way. Good flashes there from Kiyoshima, flashing four players, but will not save MBK in time. And got 30 seconds left, less than that, as they go for the push here. And Kiyoshima raining in the bullets from above. They have to look at so many angles, they have to get so many frags in. And they're doing just that. Two players going down for Envious as Kiyoshima tries to even things, tip the scales in, in the balance of Envious. The bomb will be planted in the end, regardless. Uh, Kiyo should just try to go for some exits here. They have a great economy. Yeah, he's gonna walk back. Okay, so... Envious is gonna be losing around. And uh, let's check the money situation out. So, what do you make of this? Envious will be able to buy at least one more round. And IP, if they save three weapons, looks okay. So they might have an opening back into this game if they can string some rounds together. And I like the play from Envious that round. When they go down one player, it looks like they're over-rotating to the B site. But if you consider that you're down one man, you're seated on cash, you have to take a risk. And I if NIP did fake B there, they could just save their guns on B. So it's a good decision in that position from Envious. Okay, well, Orp's out to play for both sides, Smiths. Actually, Smith is orping at the moment, and uh, Ali is orping as well for NIP. I wonder if Smith is going to be the ret returning to this uh, this role more often. Yeah, I talked with uh, talked with Shox yesterday, and he told me they were going to try to go back to their old style now. Wow! So much more Smith on the orp to see. As NIP going to go in now. Oh, spray down onto Smith. He's going to be eliminated before he can ha actually have any impact on the round. MBK is going to have to try to save things. He will get the first frag as they go for the pawn in the smoke. And MBK will get the se second kill there as well, making this doable on the retake. Shock's going to go in. He had a massive result in Kiev. Can he get anything done in this 
best of one game here online. Now he's gone home. Well, it's like the answer is no, but actually, no, he's going to get both frags, actually. So, my bad, I completely misread that situation. Yeah, and my eyes deceive me. <laughs> yeah, Shock's getting all the kills there, managing to win that round, and going for that boost when you're two players left. Telegraph says where both players are, so you have no element of surprise at all. And that shot with, a, with the AWP as well is very difficult to make, so kind of a ballsy play there from NIP didn't work out. Will, uh, however, be able to buy one more round here because he's survived three players. Yeah, that's going to be uh, AWP on Happy now, so they're actually switching it up based on spawn perhaps. And, oh, gets the tag actually on Get Right, so it's going to put him down to 24 HP. Um, Forrest is going to be going in towards Squeaky here, so trying to harass there. But Envious have a nice setup here, trying, trying to boost towards the... Uh, Close position here on the on the double stack crates on the A bomb site and Happy's gonna p finish off get right finally. Happy very very good on the orb to be honest these days. Yeah, and Happy going for the orb now over Smiths might be a positional thing as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think so. So um, anyway, it's uh, gonna be uh, twelve eight scoreline at the moment. So this is pr a pretty important round for NIP to actually win here. They want to start getting rid of the banker of Envious, and they're really starting to pull away with it in that sense, and also with the rounds, there's generally four more to win this one, and oh, that's a nice entry there from Forrest, takes down Shocks as we get also players spotted in middle, and I think Envious, they know what's up right now. Yeah, and one guy <coughs> for Envious is playing in Toxic, so Envious knows it's going to be a, a push, but MBK is rotating back to B. This is a bad read from MBK. Yeah, this is, oh, I'm not sure what's going on here, of course we can see everything and they can't, so... Mistake being made here by Envious, but will it cost him the rounds? That's the question. That's the most important thing. As we, ooh, we get Smith taken down immediately. Good flashing out there from the T side, NIP, and they are going to get the bomb planted as well. So, pretty impossible here for Happy, or is it? I actually think it's going to go for it. Yeah, they have a lot of money, so going to look for the first shot. We'll miss that one. There goes an eight. And it will find just a lick of damage on the exist, but not all that much. I like how happy it stopped there for one second, because it was, oh, if I get one with nade, I can turn around. Mm. But he didn't. Goes down to Freiburg, and I wonder why NBK wrote it back to be there. Maybe there was some kind of miscommunication from Envyas, because if you have one guy in Toxic, toxic he should tell his teammates, okay, I cleared out Toxic, I cleared out B-Storage, I have a very strong position if they push the B-side, just stack A, and for some reason NBK wrote it back to be, maybe he thought they were going to go through vents? I, I don't know. Yeah, it's a mystery here, but GetRight is looking for an entry. We see the uh, massive amount of deagles here from Envious. They were rocking this all day yesterday as well. And now we have quick entries here from NIP. So they're, they're looking to even things up pretty well. Yeah, the bomb is towards A here. We have one guy in mid. Sh pretty, pretty sure it's get right there. Being the lurker happy is going to be able to flank him, I think. Gary is really good at playing B storage. He is really good at doing that. Whether it's T or CT, he's uh, particularly effective at finding edges there, and the, the digs will not pay off for Envious. What do you think of the, the big dig by you, a fan? Well, I've become more of a fan of the Deagle, even though I think I think the C set is better in most locations, especially because it's cheaper. But if you use the deagle correctly, use it as a scout in long range and as a shotgun in uh, close range and just try to ignore or avoid mid-range duels, it could actually be quite viable. Okay, so we're going to see some uh, smokes going over the top here f for a main from NIP. Are they going to fake it? Are they going to go for the DA split? Oh, how, how will they actually ac accomplish this, what, uh, this one right now? So they're going to be going for a little bit of take action here, just smoking into A. They've got three players pulled there. They're trying to weaken that mid defense and go for the B split. And it kind of worked actually, but they needed to hit the shots in middle. However, Get Rice doing the work over towards the actual B push, the true B push itself. And Envious now kind of played the fools. Three against four NIP players. And NIP looking pretty nice at the moment. Once again, we see a very bold to play from the B players in this game. Happy decided to play in that corner. He could, when he, you usually see a player play the site or either in checkers, just trying to strafe, go for the information play before going for the open duel. And the risk with Happy's position is that you can actually see him before as you <coughs> the angle that Get Right took. And if Happy goes down there, the round is over. Yeah, I mean, it's a situation right now where 
the economy is starting to come into play, and uh, as you enter the, you know, the, the last stage of the match, basically. So they're trying to keep these weapons alive. And if we take a quick like, look at their money, just very quickly, and see where things stand here, they're completely broke. And this is where NMP can really just swing forward with momentum. And, oh, MBK gets a nice double there. That's good damage, actually. Doesn't manage to pick up an AK or a nought from it, but that, I think he'll be happy with that um, result right at the, at the end there. And again, they need to be able to find, like, find a way to force Nico from NIP. They really need that. Yeah, and great that MBK managed to save that Falmos. However, they will not have enough money to go for a buy here, so two weapons. For NVS, let's see what they decide to do with them. Should try to put themselves in positions so they can back off and save the weapons if they are on the wrong side. Yeah, so, so far, the fact finding has begun. This is like the safest way to do this get someone on the boost. Because if they have a gun and everyone else needs a gun or something, like, you know, something to that effect, well, if you kill that guy, his, his gun is fine. It's like, it's, it's fine. Sure, you don't get the trade opportunities, but pretty favorable engagements. And the bomb is going towards the B site here, and uh, only one guy there. Or do we actually have one guy behind the box in checkers? Yeah, happy playing his position, but yeah, they're gonna mold themselves him out. Nothing he can do there. Yeah, good thing that the people starting to mold themselves that spot because it's been used so much lately, popularized by Envious actually. And uh, looks like the uh, entry looks kind of clean here from NIP. I don't think they're worried at all in this round. Uh, they should be able to make it happen by wise in the following round, but so will Envious. We'll have to see if they can find a solution to this. Where do you think uh, their defense is weakest at the moment? What is, hurt, what is hurting them the most? It's actually the B side. Happy is, uh, as I talked about earlier, his position there in that corner. Very risky position. We'd just like to see them go for more of a standard type of play where you can just go for the D pick first. If the terrorists take over Toxic, you just back after the site, you just strafe on the site. Gain, inform gain information if they push you, just throw the flashes, try to buy as much time as possible. And Happy seems to going for more of kind of a funky style there on the B side. Yeah, I gotta remember that uh, Shox is no longer calling. I think uh, it's, it's kind of nuts actually. If you get, if you see like the trend is, if you if your team can get Shox to a grand finals, he's gonna play amazing, which is kind of kind of a, a funny concept. But I think fairly consistent that, that that has happened. Yeah, he plays extremely good under pressure. And let's see, playing two people on Bino, happy with that op. Yeah, there's the peak coming in from Ali. He's going to mess that one up against Happy. Happy with a better angle, faster to the trigger. And it's going to be a nice opening there for Envious defensively. And again, very important around like this at this stage. 25th round is being played here. So not much more opportunity to find edges to win this one over NIP. And uh, that would really cri cripple NIP just to, to get any more losses here. Just They need every win they can get in this league. And very slow paced play here. Envious with that entry kill. Just leaving one guy in mid. And actually two players on B here for Envious. Going for a bit of a stack. So if... NIP decides to go for this A site th here, they actually have a good opening. And they're going to be tossed in here for NIP as they look to make the entry into the bomb site. Now, they're just actually messing a little bit with, with Envious. Creating doubt, but Kyushima will pick up the first frag. And uh, we get a spray down from Exist. Eventually, we'll find a kill onto Kyushima. But um, what response do we have here from Envious? They still have the advantage on the players. Four versus two. Not a good situation to find themselves in as, as the, as the uh, T side, and uh, slowly but surely they will all be eliminated. We just have one player left over as exist. Too stubborn to die. There it is. Still getting two kills though, so if NIP can force Invest to an, a bad economic position here, they have a good opening to get to 14 rounds. And uh, let's see if NIP decides to go for the picking play here again. They did lose that play towards B the last round where Happy got that entry kill. Looks like they're just going for, not maybe a fast A round, but they might just go into A main and just, oh wait, they're actually going to go for the telegraphed execute. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how they play it. Again, we saw them before trying to work in A split with it. Now, what do they decide to do this time? Will they just go straight in? I don't think they've shown that just yet, but uh, it can be quite effective against the orbs. Now, 
The uh, fast rotation is not going to happen for Envious because they're still kind of wondering, are they are they actually doing it? Are they not doing it? How are they using this? And there we go, popping up over the top there. Kyoshima gets knocked straight back down there by Freiburg. And he is looking for more players. Gets the second one as well. As we have, uh, actually, Frank's going for both sides. And it's going to be a two on three now as Envious look for this retake. Bottom planted though. And MBK is a little bit alone at the moment. Moving up from Toxic. Facing three players. And the lurking player from NIP is just gonna... Yeah, this is a nail in the coffin. There's just nothing we can do about that. Okay, well, so first man down, and... Can they take down Happy as well? It's like so far, having a bit of trouble there. He is a very confident player. And, uh, well, this time it's not gonna help him. 13-13. And en Envas has to equal here. There's no way they're go going to buy. So NIP is looking to go to the lead here, actually. 14-13. Yeah, it's really nice. Again, they need these wins so badly in this league. But can they close it out? Just three more rounds, but I guess MBS is not always the easiest task to accomplish, especially considering how good they are with their four subs. But yeah, we are seeing that style of play now where they're like, okay, yeah, guys, let's play some proper counter strike. And uh, four people on B here for NVS, boosting one guy in vent. Or getting mauled out so they have to back up. Yeah, it's looking quite good for them, but actually Gary's going to burn down Happy, so they are without their in-game leader, which could always be helpful if you can just bark some orders from the uh, def the, uh, well, the from the bench. And BK in a good position here, gets the snap on to get right. Swaps out for the AK, in comes Exist for the trade, and he's going to make it good. Here we go, Forrest in now as well, as he looks for the spray down, he's going to find it onto Kiyoshima. Smith and Shox remain on the B-bomb site. This is going to go down easily as well. So NIP indeed with the round being somewhat clean. Yeah, only one guy going down. He's going down to shocks there. They shouldn't lose any more players. So yeah, force getting down shocks. And 14 13 to NIP. NVS will be able to buy. And actually, only 3k here on Smiths. And it will be interesting to see how NVS handles this. B pressure that NIP is putting up on them. You actually see both Alu and Getty right just trying to pressure Envias on B. They're, what they're trying to do there is, of course, force Envias to play two players on B instead of one and then going for the A execute just so they have that extra man over at the B side. Yeah, we've got the Yorp on, uh, Get oh, sorry, on Alu, as you would expect. But Get right working in B storage also, as you would expect. Now, what is he going to find here? He's just moving him through the smoke. Oh, this is dangerous right now. Oh, they're not going to spot him in time. He's going to take down Kiyoshima. NIP with a good entry, and uh, Shock's got to be careful as well because Get Right's now spotted him. They could actually throw the smoke in for his position. I think that's exactly what they're going to do. And uh, just prevent him from doing anything from headshot, which is very crippling. And Shock's had to move on to the bomb side, gets the first frag, gets the second one as well, and in comes Smith to add to the pile of bodies. Ali will be able to respond with the AWP, but that's a two on two with health. Down pretty low here for NIP, as uh, it's just falling on Ali, who's the last man standing here. The Finn, ooh, pick up a nice little headshot there. That's gonna be a one on one now, and he's got an orb, so this is really doable here for Ali. Here he goes now, looking for Happy. Now, how does Happy play this one? He doesn't know how low he is. He is not sure, but he needs to make sure that he does not close himself. And there it is, Happy gets the frag, just by playing it incredibly simple. Yeah, that's very annoying for Alu. If he would have just stayed at the headshot position for uh, maybe two seconds longer, going for that peekaboo, he could have easily spotted that guy and just peeked up and killed that, killed Happy there and won that one we won. Uh, so 14 to 14, Envas still has a very bad economy. So if NIP wins wins this round, they should win the game. Same actually goes for Envas as NIP. Only banking 2k on two players, the rest of them is under 1k, so... Yeah, very important round there for both teams. Yeah, how are they going to kick it off? We've got two players in B storage, already trying to boost up into the vents, I think. And uh, three players on A, so Envious have gone with a stack here. They've, they've got mid mills open. The only thing they have in middle is Kirshina spotting in. Do you, like, do you like this kind of stack play at the start of the round? Yeah, yeah I think it's pretty decent. I think they're just... Uh, trying to do a read that they're gonna go for the execute and uh, Kiyoshima going down there in the beginning is disasters from Envias because if they lose this they are forced to an eco so they they have to stack a site here and try to save the guns if they push the other side. Okay well they're gonna have to try and see what they can get done at the moment they have the uh, bomb going towards 
A actually at the moment, I think, or it's, it's actually you no, know, it's going back towards B, so lots of confusion here as Ali picks up a frag towards Shocks on the B bomb site, and uh, we have the entire team of NIP moving in now. They have the smokes down to help them. Happy needs to come out huge with some kills. He gets the first one. More players to follow, though. Spots an arm. So that's all he spots there. And so they kind of play the shoulder peaks perfectly. And they'll make that happen here. We'll have Forrest going down to Happy as well. But that make, makes it a two on two. Envious looking in a very uh, interesting spot at the moment. But where is the solution? Can they MacGyver their way into a defuse here? Oh, we've got Fravig at the back box. Ooh, gonna get sprayed through the box a little bit there as uh, Shox gets taken out by Freiburg and Exist will eliminate Ortho Smith. So, potentially one, one more round, guys. Potentially. We'll have to see if the overtime can happen here. Envious, though, they don't have much money to play with. So, it would be unlikely if NIP plays correctly. But we'll actually see the pistols do that much. It looked like Envious were was expecting a fake there because uh, the rotation from Smith's were was extremely slow. You can see it was only 15 seconds left or something on that bomb when he came to that site and yeah, Envious is, uh, this is going to be very tough for them to win this round. Two Deagles, two five sevens and a scout. Yeah, it's going to be a nice situation here as we have a... Uh, get right up. Moving in towards a pick on middle. Now just trying to abuse these look, these ranges. They have such a huge advantage in all these, these engagements. Why wouldn't they use the early time in the round to dedicate to actually trying to find a way to convert? on those, uh, those the, the, the economic advantage that they have. And uh, well, so far they're not going to find all that much. We've got a 3-2 split from Envious again, just giving up middle entirely, which again makes sense. How, what would be the best way for NIP to abuse this, or what should they be doing? They are doing it perfectly here. Just try to see if they will go for any aggression. If they don't, just go for a simple non-telegraphed push, preferably towards the A site. There is a stack there from MVS, but NIP obviously can't know this. And the bomb is actually going towards B here. Yeah, but there's two pistoling players here on B, so Smith goes huge. Could be problematic. And they're actually pushing somebody in uh, Squeaky as well, so they are able to rotate everyone. NIP have to go now. They're being too slow right now. MVS have already realized what's going on. And oh my god, what the hell was that? MBK with a headshot through the smoke of the scout. And we get the trace coming in right now as these uh, inferior weapons don't look also infer inferior in the hands of Envious players. As Kyushima comes in from the back, able to take down the frag from the forest. And it's going to be a round for Envious. We get overtime here. And uh, Envious and NIP. NIP need this victory so badly, but it's just slipping through their thick fingers. I can't believe MBK got the headshots through that smoke. Even if he got an attack there, that would have been lucky. And he gets the so important kill. And yeah, Envious going for a bit of a gamble there, stacking the B site. Worked out. Going for a bit of a gamble with spraying the smoke. Worked out as well. So not how much NIP could do there. How do you get a headshot through this? Yeah. There? Like, how do you do that? Can, M can MBK teach me? Please, MBK, please. That would never happen to me. No. Just like she's spray down there. In the middle, in yeah, middle in the, the, the AK. final yesterday. That yeah, was, that, was that was something else. Okay, so we're going to have a more standard round here from MVS. Everyone has all the monies. MR10, 16k. All the monies. It's time to give away the oh. money. Get right. Get wrecked. As Get Right moves in for a, a second victim. But he's going to be uh, found lacking as it's a 3 on 4 now for. NIP to abuse. They have the players pushing towards the A bomb site, but so far it's looking like NIP having some troubles here, despite having the member advantage. But this is where it's finally starting to pay off. We've got Freiburg in just an excellent position, able to take down Smiths, and now in comes Happy from the connector, looking to find an equalizing frag at the very least. Doesn't need to, doesn't need to like, go for this though. I mean, sure they have a lot of money, but he's, if he's going to be planning to always have orbs. Then you should probably look, look to save this. Yeah, just save this. Even though it's 16k, it's actually max rounds 5, so you could actually get money screwed. So just try to save this up. Here's his best options. And there's no reason to go for the picks. Because you have 16k. Nice. Out. Very nice flick there. Bam. Very Boom. Very, very nice. Nice. Okay, so happy. Will he live? Will he live? Private? Private? Uh, there we, uh, oh, wow, well, there we go. That was that was pretty last second. Good job there by Freiburg. And 16 to 15 is the score now as we are into overtime number one. And of course, uh, after this match, guys, we do have another one coming up, but there'll be a two-hour break before that happens. So 
Um, nice, we can fill out some time here with uh, for the for the break with this awesome overtime between Envious and NIP. Alu and Smith and Happy all on the AWPs. So Envious with a new, new approach again. The payoff here. Good double peek there from Envious to get good trade in onto the middle area. Smith's able to take down Forest, but the trade will come in from Alu as NIP have the bomb site now. And uh, we take commences. Ali with a, another shot there onto Kiyoshima. And MVK and Shock trying to make their way together. Through Toxic up short into some fragging situations here for this retake. And will they go for the tower? Yeah, it looks like they're just going over it again. Thing is, though, the bomb is not down yet. So that's actually kind of an issue here for for uh, NIP because there's no reason for Envious to move in. They can force them to try to do something stupid. At the moment, it's not kicking away and putting the clock on the CTs, and Emmys will pick up one frag after another. Yeah, 1-1 one, one here in the first overtime, and uh, let's see if Smith, Smith decides to rebuy that op. Means it's going to be the... F yeah, they bought, they bought five ops in this overtime so far, so five ops for Envious this far in this overtime. They might actually be looking kind of... Uh, I mean, their economies <laughs> might not be looking that good after that. Yeah, have to see if, they, if that actually will affect them in the, in the long term here. So, going to have uh, just a pretty standard opening from uh, from the T side here, from NIP. They're just playing it defensively, splitting up. And that hurts. That hurts a lot. Yeah, Shock's going down there in the beginning of the round. And how w will NVS answer this now? They're down a man. Just have to go for some risks. Looks like they're just leaving mid completely open now. Yeah, there you go, though, into the B area, and MBK's in a really nice position here. The smoke's actually going to help him out massively. Now, there's not the commitment here from NIP, but they're starting to do that, actually, as uh, still good positions here from MBK. I feel like Envious have such a strong way to hold this B bombsite area. Oh, they don't know about MBK, but are they going to keep going for this? They, they are actually starting to force Envious to... Wonder what the hell is going on. Smith will pick up a frag. MBK peeks out finally in spots that there's nobody in checkers. And they have seen the players moving up middle now as NIP try to get a quick situation happening on the A bomb site. That's exactly what they're going to get as now the bomb can be planted on, on A as it's clean. Getra going to go forward here. He wants to get some frags and he's going to get happy down as well. So MBK left alive in a one on two clutch situation. And Getra again with these shenanigans is causing all sorts of issues for Envious. What a, cr what a really crazy round here, but MBK is still alive, although barely, still ba ba uh, barely alive, 16 HP, and uh, there he goes. Nice little flash there, but it's so hard for him to make, just make any ground here, and he's going to finally go down. So yeah, t talk, 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 talk me through what the hell happened there for NIP, what a weird round. Yeah, they were down into a 2v4 even, I think, and after that, just getting those two kills in mid, both of the MVS players were back at the B site, so NIP had a good opening to that A site, and after they got the bomb down and get right got that frag towards the despawn, not much NVS can do. Yeah, well, I'll have to see if they can recover here. They've got, uh, again, a pretty standard set of the 1 through one from them, so nothing out of the ordinary, and NIP again going with the slow approach, but happy can pick up the frag there towards Alu, and then NIP, NIP. In a bit of trouble, losing a man that early. Now they're going to go for the positional play. Which is very, very strong here. Very nice way to respond to a situation where you lose someone early. But the frags will roll in here for Envious. They're looking very nice. It's a four on two again. And this time there's no fast answer for NIP. So Envious has a lot of time to coordinate their positions in this 4v2. Shouldn't be anything NIP can do in this position. I have to see if they're able to pull something out of the bag, though. Some some of that NIP magic, the rabbit out of the hat, perhaps. MBK spotting into mid there, making loads of stepping, and he's going to actually force Getright to peek because he was thun uh, thunderfooting around in middle, and the Getright's like, "Well, I will take a free frag, please." And there it is. M Envious will finish off the round 17-17 now. And what will NIP do here in this last round? We haven't seen the A execute yet in the overtime. And uh, NIP is a team that go has two iterations of their A execute. Either they just go for A after they throw the smokes over the roof, or they go back and boost over mid. Could go for A split and can go through the vents to a B split. So it doesn't look like they're going to do that this round. The bomb is towards mid. 
Just gonna go for a default car. Double AWP all the way for NIP. That's oh, right for uh, Envious on the defense against NIP, but it's not gonna stop them. Forrest picks up an entry there. Kiyoshima is dead. And Smith is forced to a close position here on the A uh, bomb site. Now, oh, he's got a player on his head there. Absolute madness, chaos, anarchy on the A bomb site as Freiburg will find himself a plant. Two on two here again. Envious going to go in for the retake. Happy gets annihilated there by Forrest. And MBK has everything to do all by himself as he makes his way in from the car position now. Finding himself on the bomb site. That bomb ticking away and not being able to spot exactly where anybody even is to begin with. And that bomb is starting to tick away faster and faster as he tries to answer some of these questions in where the two players are. Gets the first duel there. Going to have to go for a bit of a gamble play here. And he's going to get caught in the back by Freiburg. 18-17. And then IP will win the first half of the first overtime. Yeah, I wonder what happened there when Exist was on top of his head on the side. Exist going for the play where you jump up on the red container trying to push the Cetus from above. Landed on the Cetus head and still <laughs> didn't manage to get that kill. I would have <laughs> wanted to see that from Exist angle. Yeah, it would be, <laughs> it would be funny to see his, re his reaction to that as well. As he should be should have been able to get that frag every time, but... Still lose of money, of course, um, for these teams, as, uh, as of course it is the, uh, the overtime rules of face it. Alice moved into the sandwich position, gets a quick snap there onto Shocks. MBK goes down to Exist as well. Good stuff, good coverage from NIP. And they have uh, forced Envious to lose a couple of players early on. Get right, finishing off happy as well. So, well, MB down to two players. This is looking pretty rough for them. Yeah, one with three now for Kiyoshima. And they know where he is. Alright, well, we've got the jewels coming in, and <laughs> finally just two frags out of nowhere. Kiyoshima bringing it back from the brink as far as goes in just to spot what's going on in B storage and uh, make his quick push back into. Well, he's actually just going to go straight away. I thought he would go to middle. That would be faster for the B or A, but. Looks like he's made the right call here, and I don't know if Kiyoshima will ever expect him to be there. This could be complete genius here from Forrest. He's actually barely missing the timing. Oh, but he's going to edge back into the view, and Forrest will take the frag. And that was really nice by Forrest. Really nice. You'd never expect someone to be there in that situation, I think. Yeah, a great read there from Forrest. He knew that Kiyoshima wouldn't push towards the B site because he would suspect that Forrest would come uh, from City Spawn. So. Uh, Going from the back there from A-Man, it's a perfect play from Forrest. And nice try though from Kiyoshima in that 1v3. Yeah, and the double up has been paying off for them so far. And Gerard as well, he's been uh, he's been fragging pretty well and, and having a very good impact frags. Freiberg as well has been very important for the team. Um, now, let's have a look and see what can be done here. MBS moving in, so they're all tagging down Alu quite severely. He's got the up, of course, so they can't afford to lose him early in the round, and that's what's going to happen. MBK gets the spray, and now it's going to be a, fi a five on four situation as MBS look to just claim this A bomb site, and then if you have to go for a retake again. Yeah, and this time it should not be able to work. Yeah, especially when Happy gets that third kill. NIP should just try to save their AWP here. But will they? <laughs> will they do it? Well, looks like uh, Forrest wants to get some extra kills before he d decides to go any further or anything else. Oh, Freiburg picks up a kill there as well, so... It's not exactly game on because there's so much time gone from the from the bomb, but still, nice to do some damage, I suppose. But still, though, would you have preferred to save? I mean... I think, yeah, save would be probably maybe better. Yeah, they have $5,800 on one player, so they... You know, see, after, after NIP has bought here, they actually are pretty low on money on some players, so... If they lose two rounds in a row, the third round might be a bad buy for them, so saving those counts would have been the better play there. Well, they are back on the double AWP anyway, and we have Kiyoshima moving in there, gets the trade though, does Forrest, and that's going to help out, but still, Envious with that early kill on, CT on a CT player is going to create a situation where they can uh, play against the rotations. Now, would you say Envious are a team that are uh, good at this kind of style of gameplay? Uh, you mean the picking style? or uh, It's abusing rotations when you've got, when you've got a pick. Yeah, I, I think that's their their strongest um, side, or when Happy or Shox is calling. 
to just get those kills, try to thin out the numbers, get into a 4v4 or 3v3, and then to just know how hard it is for the CTs to rotate and where they can, well, punish the CTs for playing so thinned out. Nice. Nice stuff there from Shock Court. Get raised. Uh, flash was not quite perfect. A little bit too far, uh, far back. And uh, well, that'll be the trade. Get right had a nice play for information and to try to get his advantage back here for the CTs. Alu will pick up the kill onto Happy though. And looks like Envious feels somewhat committed into this uh, this A bomb site at this point. Nate's going to go in as far as it's still on that B bomb site. Alu needs some help right now, and that's what he's going to get. It's going to be Exist from Forklift. Now Exist could shut this down here for Envious as oh, they'll both get the both frags at the same time. And it's going to be 20 to 18, and one more is all that NIP need to claim. And, uh, well, that's that's nice, considering the fact that they could have been in that situation where they had lost it, like you said, you know. It w would likely have been 2020 for sure. Yes, very well played there from NIP. Going up to two match points here. And with that up on Alu, should be able to close this one out with these two rounds. Yeah, he's oh, Gerrit right, going to go in again. He's going to be fast to the frag there. There's a second player trying to get the trade, and he will he'll be able to actually execute that. So well done to Smith, but Exist finding the kill onto Squeaky. I think uh, Happy wanted to try to capitalize on the disturbances towards A main, but luckily NIP have players in the right positions with the right reads at the right times, and we have a four on three for the Swedes in their match point. Now, can they get it done? That's a different story altogether, as we do have... Exist is on uh, the forklift area. Actually, no, sorry, not the forklift area, the uh, squeaky area. Maybe, um, no, it's actually, yeah, by the squeaky door. And Ali's also managed to find his way onto some angles there. And in comes Forrest with the spray down there, finds the headshot onto MBK with that spray. And now Envious, they're in a lot of trouble here. They could just lose this now. And Exist positions should be uh, checkmate here. Exist by the door, he's looking for the frag, and there it is, 21 to 18. And it's going to be NIP that will take that one. So very, very well done to them, and uh, pretty awesome cash match. Actually, NIP played way better than I thought they would. Yeah, considering Envious came second just yesterday at Star Ladder, and NIP has struggled in this, in, in this particular league as well. Uh, they're down 1-4, to four and now they're down 2-4. to four. It's kind of surprising that they <laughs> actually won the game. Yeah, I, I agree completely. So really nice, though, because NIP need to get some wins on the board, kind of hamstringing themselves by picking so many trains and having those early losses. But guys, we will take a, a, pr a prolonged break here. We have probably like an hour and a half until the next match is going to start. So, well, we will see you in an hour and a half for that.